sense. Of course, the wildfires in our own country producing a lot of smoke, uh, concern for air quality. But if that wasn't enough, Canada continues to battle massive wildfires. Uh, there's a look at more video from Chico. So the park fire has just exploded in size. And unfortunately, the smoke with the prevailing winds that are in place in the forecast mm -hmm. is going to continue to produce an issue when it comes to air quality. And Britta, you think about the terrain. Look at the hillsides there in oh, Chico, it's, tucked it's in tough. the northern side of the valley, right? And a lot of that terrain is going to be tough for firefighters to attack. Mm -hmm. If the winds are too strong, they can't go from above. But even the crews on the ground are having a hard time climbing those hills. And you think about Chico, Chico State getting ready to go back to college. Yeah, I was we, have, we have a website. lot of college kids that yeah. go, you know, to the valley to, to mm -hmm. get their education. The it's, smoke is affecting so many people. Yes, and it's interesting. You can even see it from space. Yeah. So this is focusing on the Canadian wildfires. This is the border of the U.S. and Canada right here. And when you see sort of the flatter color of the brown and the dark gray, that is actual smoke plumes extending from the fire. Of course, you can see the flames as well. You'll also notice very close to the fire sites, almost like a bubbling cauldron. The heat from these fires is so intense that it actually makes its own clouds and weather. We've even seen fire nados made because of the intense conditions that happen around a wildfire. But it's the transport of the smoke that we're most concerned about because it is going to impact a lot of Americans. Uh, the Canadian smoke is moving into our country, and then we have our own issue from smoke from the fires that are burning out west. Uh, this is a look at Denver on Monday. They actually had the worst air quality in the world in Denver, Colorado. And, it, you know, typically you would be able to, to make out the mountains, the, the beautiful skyline of the Mile City, and everything is just hazed out. When this building drops like that, you know that anybody needs to stay inside, right? But Absolutely. It's not just for people no, with respiratory it's, problems. No, it's everybody young, that it's, it's everybody. unhealthy. Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes you even can see ash or particulate start yeah. to start to collect on the cars. Yeah. Now, like here's calling. a look at how many fires are burning in Canada, because this is a combo story. It's right. not just what's happening in the U.S. Mm -hmm. It is the fires that are burning in Canada. For Canada, they have over 523 active wildfires that are larger than 100 acres. Mm -hmm. That's 7.1 million acres. The acreage that we're burning here in the U.S. is about 2 million. So you add that up between mm -hmm. what's burning in our country and what's burning in Canada, it is so much. We're putting a ton of smoke up in the atmosphere. We have air quality alerts that are posted for Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and even Nebraska. Yeah. And some of this smoke and the air quality alerts posted until further notice. Yeah, along the front range of Colorado as well.